back to our channel. My name is Casey. And I'm Anthony. And we're Dos Cavazos, and this is My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 7. So last episode, Kendo's uh, team was able to outsmart Momo's. It was a really close match. And even though they ended up kind of winning by a larger margin, they still kind of put up a fight there to the end, and it was like Mushroom Girl having to like pull out her last little trick yeah. there at the end just to even, you know, win. It gave an opportunity for both Momo and Tokoyami um, to shine, which we haven't really been able to focus a lot on their characters mm. um, as much as some of the other ones, but it's just showing also how the students are growing and learning um, and improving their quirks as well. I like, I really like how my hero like kind of focuses on a couple of secondary characters mm -hmm. every season. Like we got the chance last season to focus on Red Riot and Sue. Uh, a couple seasons before we got to focus on Ida when you know mm -hmm. with Ingenium that whole situation with Hero Killer Stain. Yeah. I really like how they do that. Uh, I'm curious what other characters are going to have their moment to shine because it seems like every group is having their their own group. Obviously, there's a few characters there, but one yeah. or two in the group get to have their moment. So I wonder yeah. who we're going to focus on this episode. All right, before we jump into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon for our full-length reactions. We also just went to a Demon Slayer cafe over on our vlog channel, Dos Cavazos IRL. If you want to check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. Sorry about that, Tokoyami. You want a cough drop? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. At least you recovery, girl, and get some medicine for your throat. Humans can't get stronger without training. What inefficient beings. Why must we carry the injured? Rescue protocol needs reform. Oh, <laughs> that turned into a robot thing. I am here without startling. <laughs> oh, oh, <Lord>. <laughs> oh, he, he, he said that so soft. <laughs> He's been helping Deku with practice outside of class. Oh, shocker, shocker. Of course, you've got the deeds on Midoriya. Ooh. Oh, I just heard it. That's all from somebody else, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she elevated her. As I mentioned, this is all new territory. I've never heard of a spontaneous activation before. But I'm planning to ask Gran Torino if he knows anything. Mm. Great. After all, the vestiges of One for All did first appear to you during a match against Yeah, Shinso. with Shinso, yeah. Yeah, something about Shinso. What? Be on high alert again. What? John, where did you come from? <laughs> you asked me to keep your relationship a secret, but you're always sneaking around like this. He's like monitoring them. <laughs> Don't you gulp oh. at me? <laughs> Bakugo. Did something happen? Aww. Don't lie. He cares. I've gotten stronger since the last time we fought, so you better be keeping up. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I swear. Yeah, I love their relationship so much. Mm -hmm. in his own special way. The hell are you smiling at? I'm dead serious, you idiot. It's just and that his way. look on your face pisses me <laughs> off. Or not. <laughs> Master, what are you and the other previous users of our quirk trying to tell us? It's finally Ida's turn to fight. This group has Todoroki's two wide range ice and fire attacks. We've got Todoroki, though it should be an easy win. You shouldn't count your grapes before they're grown, boy. My grapes are huge. See a little yellow. Ah! <laughs> mentors hawks and endeavor we studied under the heroes who fought the last great battle still in people's minds that makes it our duty to uphold the honor mm. of the mm. Providence! Ah! that's a lot to live up to <laughs> yeah <laughs> we must learn this move if you're to advance no he's remembering like is he gonna be able to use prominence burn Ooh. stand up quit pretending to be weak I hope he does. You're the only one who can do this move. You can fulfill my ambition. My brother's recovery has been going well oh. lately. Oh. oh, that's great to hear. I also have the duty to uphold my brother's honor and live up to his name. I'll show everybody that I'm a worthy successor. Hmm. So they all kind of have someone that need they need to live mm. up to. I mean, Deku feels that way too. Mm. And Shinso probably is doing that about a racer head. <laughs> But I got accepted into UA just like you guys. It's not like I rush into things without thinking of the end game. What are you talking about? I'll have to level this place! Oh, gosh. Idea. You just destroy As he was everything. Just saying, yeah. I don't rush into things. Yeah. Like, what is he doing? Why are you okay. doing that? You're just gonna destroy everything? Like, eventually, we'll get to a building they're at. Well, we can work with this too, I suppose. And your thinking's too flexible, Juzo. Yeah, they're gonna lose. They're just, like, not on the same page. No. All right, time to make our class proud. Let's go, Team Three. What? <laughs> what is going on here? Imagine just driving on the highway and <laughs> seeing that. Looks like we've been successful at driving him toward the harbor. Not catching me. Oh, Endeavor. Oh, Endeavor. 
the scar. It's ever. Oh, he's just like, oh, you heard of that? that? <laughs> he's like, dude. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> I'll take a hostage. Oh, oh not no. a child. Oh, get him. Is that like a baby cementos? Oh. Run. Prominence yeah, burn him. Let go of me. Melt his rubber wheels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like melting him. Please, I'll go quietly. Wow. Um, excuse me. <gasps> what is it? We just wanted to say thank you. Aww. How's he gonna react? Any of you heard it all? Aww. No, sir. Bye. <laughs> I finally, finally got Shoto's contact info. <laughs> what? There's something I want to tell you once more. So stop ignoring my messages. Oh, he's like not, not the same person who disregarded. Oh, so I guess he just never had. He his never had his phone, phone number. number yeah. I guess. Well, I mean, for yeah. when we first saw him, he Makes like sense. didn't want to see him. It's like weird because it's like been seasons, but like for them, it's yeah. not that long. I want to teach you that move, like a good father. Oh. To do that, you have to stop ignoring my messages, Shoto. Shoto. Oh! <laughs> this kid's probably in class, right? If I thought the other team was standing around out in the open. Oh, I love when he does that. Yeah. Like the massive ice wall. It's like one of my favorite moves. Come get some! <gasps> what? Oh, wait, who can make it yeah. all jelly? Goopy? This guy. Casting ice is a cheap move. Though if you'd been cold hearted and used fire, we wouldn't have been able to trap you. Class B, Juzo Softening. Hanuki. Hero name, Mudman. He makes the things he touches turn soft. They go back to normal when he touches them again. Hmm. This relaxed rock star took one of Class B's recommendation spots. Oh. I'll retreat for now and wait for you. Oh. Found you. I softened a bunch of random stuff around you. So oh. Be smart to watch your hmm. Interesting. I feel like Todoroki's gonna have to use his fire at yeah. some point. Nice job, Juzo. I'll handle Ojiro. Maybe like a tornado arms, <laughs> like a drill. Class B, Senkai Ball. Gyrate. <laughs> You're difficult to deal with, oh. so I'll leave you trapped in the muck for now. I feel like they're gonna trap everybody, and it's gonna yeah. have to come down to Todoroki. I feel like he might already know the move that his dad's talking about. Mm. Should I go to the front? Then there'd be no one to guard Shoji as he scouts. Oh, shit. oh crap! The girl. What does she throw her horns? Pony sooner told Horn cannon. cannon. Work. Horn cannon. Her name's Pony. That's adorable. Here we go. Wow. Oh. <sighs> he, he used the fire. You don't stand a chance. <sighs> Come on, Todoroki. You are evil incarnate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it. Recipro has a time limit, right? Not so smart to use it right at the beginning. Anyway, I'm gonna go help He's pretty Tetsu. bright. I yeah, mean, he, he is. He was a recommendation like He's Momo and Todoroki. Doing good. That was a while ago, Mudman. <gasps> Do it. Ingenium will rush anywhere at any time. That's what these legs are for. They won't be constrained. Oh, oh no! no! I've been at full throttle this entire time. Oh my gosh! New style. Look how he's breaking Look how he's like going. Oh my gosh, he's breaking through the freaking ice. Wait. Tuning my engine. Tuning it? Tuning his yeah. engine? Training is good, but you can also pull your mufflers out. Do it right. Oh. Parts that can take more of a beating will grow back in their place. What? Oh. It's a what? technique passed down from our grandfather. So it's so kind of like. The family can help more people and do it faster than anyone wow. else. Wow. So you yank it out and it grows back bad. like stronger? Oh my gosh. Wow. That is. Wow! Yeah. For ten minutes, nobody can stop me. <laughs> wow, ten whole minutes. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. What was his first initial one? I forgot. I it was like remember. really quick. Because then he would just like freeze up. I yeah. remember. So we're on to the next match mm -hmm. now, and it looks like this episode or this match, I should say, it seems like it's going to be focusing on a little bit of Ida and Todoroki a little bit more so than the other characters, which I really like. You know, we got a little bit of an update on Ida's brother, which we hadn't really heard yeah. about since like the Hero Killer Stain incident. Um, it's good to know that he's doing better. And then also Ida's learning a lot more from him, like mm. how he learned he could like take out his whatever. That, That's kind of brutal. <laughs> yeah, but that it's going to like grow back stronger and now he's like mm -hmm. able to go for a longer. Um, 
wow you know it's cool that their family has had that quirk for like generations yeah. i just think that that's really awesome and it's like it's been passed down um so yeah it was just nice to see that little update likewise with todoroki uh seeing the whole parallels between him and his father kind of going back to like when he was young and we kind of had to remind ourselves that even though it's been seasons and we we think that obviously they're they're making progress to having somewhat of a decent relationship they're obviously not there and like you know the whole concept of uh Endeavor not having Shoto's like phone number yeah. it was like crazy to me like you know I had to get it from somebody else but they teased that special move which I'm assuming is prominence burn um, because they showed it obviously when he was fighting Nomu here in a little flashback and I, I don't know I just get the sneaking suspicion that Todoroki already knows it he's just gonna have to like you know start using his fire more mm. you know he relies so heavily on the eyesight and I think that that's gonna be like the progression of him and his quirk yeah. um, because he does have a really powerful quirk I feel like he's just he's kind of underrated but he also underutilizes himself I like he hasn't reached his full potential yet and it's it's coming I feel like yeah I feel like with Todoroki like his powers is kind of like a bomb you know yeah. the reason I say that is because every time we see it it's like a massive attack it's not like you know like a, a kick here kick there right. people kind of have to not be around him for for him to reach his full potential kind of like with Endeavor how he had to go in the sky to like mm -hmm. take care of Nomu he had to get away from everybody to like go to his full yeah. potential gold plus ultra <laughs> another thing here that they teased in this episode with the All Might and Deku conversation with Bakugo coming into mm -hmm. it talking about one for all and seeing what is connecting all these events because he brought up the whole Shinso thing and like that's when like these entities you know the previous owners of yeah. one for all like presented themselves to Deku for the first time and I just feel like we're gonna see more of that we've already saw it earlier in the season it was teased in the last season and I feel like we're gonna get a lot of backstory eventually going into all for one and his brother yeah. and just obviously just the other previous users of one for all all right well if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos also head over to our patreon where we have full length reactions as well as other exclusive content if you want to watch our full length reactions to my hero academia we upload them over there so if you want to check that out the links down in the description below okay we'll see you next time bye everyone